Yes, <coughs> welcome back. Let's continue eating some uh, candy, some salty lacris, lacris, some black one. GD Force 900 Series. GD Force 900 Series GTX 900 Series logo with slogan dot PNG. GTX 980 TFE JPG. NVIDIA GD Force GTX 980 T Founders Edition release date September 18, 2014. Code name GM 20s Architecture Maxwell Model Ski Force Series Ski Force GT Series. GD Force GTX Series. Transistors 2.94B GM 206 5.2B GM 204 8.0B GM200 Fabrication Process DSMC 28 McCart's Midranger GeForce GTX 950 GeForce GTX 960 High End GeForce GTX 970 GeForce GTX 980 Enthusiast GeForce GTX 980T GD Force GTX Titan X API support Direct 3D Direct 3D 12 Feature level 12 underscore 1 1 2 3 4 Shader model 6.7 Open Clopengle 3.0 A Open Clopengle 4.6 Vulcan Vulcan 1.3 Spur Vista a predecessor GeForce 800M series GD Force 700 series Successor GE Force 10 series support status supported. The GE Force 900 series is a family of graphics processing units developed by Nvidia, succeeding the GeForce 700 series and serving as the high end introduction to the Maxwell microarchitecture, named after James Clark Maxwell. They are produced with TSMC's 28NM process. With Maxwell, the successor to Kepler, NVIDIA expected three major outcomes, improved graphics capabilities, simplified programming, and better energy efficiency compared to the GE4 700 series and GE4 600 series. Dot. 6. Maxwell was announced in September 2010. 7. With the first Maxwell-based GE Force consumer class products released in early 2014. 8. Architecture. First generation Maxwell GM10X. First generation Maxwell GM1074 slash GM108 were released as GE Force GTX 745. GTX 750 forward slash 750T and GTX 850M forward slash 860M, GM107, and GT 830M forward slash 840M, GM108. These new chips provide few consumer facing additional features, Nvidia instead focused on power efficiency. NVIDIA increased the amount of L2 cache from 256 KB on GK107 to 2 MB on GM107, reducing the memory bandwidth needed. Accordingly, NVIDIA cut her memory bus from 192-bit on GK106 to 128-bit on GM107, further saving power. Dot 9. NVIDIA also changed its streaming multiprocessor design from that of Kepler, SMX, naming it SMM. The structure of the war scheduler is inherited from Kepler, which allows each scheduler to issue up to two instructions that are independent from each other and are in order from the same warp. The layout of SMM units is partitioned so that each of the four warp schedulers in an SMM controls one set of 32 FP32 CUDA cores, one set of eight load forward slash story units, 
and one set of eight special function units. This is in contrast to Kepler, where each SMX has four schedulers that schedule to a shared pool of six sets of 32 FP32 CUDA cores, two sets of 16 load forward slash store units, and two sets of 16 special function units.10. These units are connected by a crossbar that uses power to allow the resources to be shared.10. This crossbar is removed in Maxwell.10. Texture units and FP64 CUDA cores are still shared.9. SMM allows for a finer grain allocation of resources than SMX, saving power when the workload isn't optimal. For shared resources, NVIDIA claims a 128 CUDA core SMM has 86% of the performance of a 192 CUDA core SMX.9. Also, each graphics processing cluster, or GPC, contains up to 4 SMX units in Kepler, and up to 5 SMM units in first generation Maxwell.9. GM107 supports CUDA compute capability 5.0 compared to 3.5 on GK110 forward slash GK208 GPUs and 3.0 on GK10X GPUs. Dynamic parallelism and hyper-Q, two features in GK110 forward slash GK208 GPUs, are also supported across the entire Maxwell product line. Maxwell provides native shared memory atomic operations for 32-bit integers and native shared memory 32-bit and 64-bit compare and swap, CAS which can be used to implement other atomic functions. While it was once thought that Maxwell used tile-based immediate mode rasterization, 11, NVIDIA corrected his at GDC 2017 saying Maxwell instead uses tile caching. 12, VANC. Maxwell-based GPUs also contain the NVANC SIP block introduced with Kepler. NVIDIA's video encode NVANC is 1.5 to 2 times faster than on Kepler-based GPUs meaning it can encode video at 6 to 8 times playback speed. 9. Pure Video NVIDIA also claims an 8 to 10 times performance increase in pure video feature set e-video decoding due to th video decoder cache paired with increases in memory efficiency. However, H.265 is not supported for full hardware decoding relying on a mix of hardware and software decoding. 9. When decoding video, a new low-power state GC5 is used on Maxwell GPUs to conserve power. 9. Second generation Maxwell, GM20X. Second generation Maxwell introduced several new technologies. Dynamic super resolution, 13. Third generation delta color compression, 14. Multi-pixel programming sampling, 15, NVIDIA VXGI, real-time voxel global illumination, 16, VR Direct, 17, 18, 19, multi-projection acceleration, 14, and multi-frame simple anti-aliasing, MFA, 20, however support for coverage sampling anti-aliasing, CSAA, was removed, dot, 21. HDMI 2.0 support was also th.22, 23, second generation Max will also change the ROP to memory controller ratio from 8.1 to 16.1.24, however, some of the ROPs are generally idle in the GTX 970 because there are not enough enabled SMMs to give them work to do and therefore reduces its maximum fill rate.25. Second generation Maxwell also has up to 4 SMM units per GPC, compared to 5 SMM units per GPC.24. GM204 supports CUDA compute capability 5.2 compared to 5.0 on GM107 forward slash GM108 GPUs. 3.5 on GK110 forward slash GK208 GPUs and 3.0 on GK10X GPUs. 14, 24, 26, 
Maxwell second generation GM 20X GPUs have an upgraded Mvonk which supports HEVC encoding and adds support for H.264 encoding resolutions at 1440p forward slash 60fps and 4K forward slash 60fps compared to Mvonk on Maxwell first generation GM 10X GPUs which only supported H.264 1080p forward slash 60 FPS encoding dot 19 Maxwell GM206 GPU supports full fixed function HEV hardware decoding dot 27 28 advertising controversy GTX 970 hardware specifications Issues with the GeForce GTX 970S specifications were first brought up by users when they found out that the cards, while featuring 4GB of memory, rail your cast memory over the 3.5GB boundary. Further testing and investigation eventually led to NVIDIA issuing a statement that the cards initially announced specifications had been altered without notice before the card was made commercially available, and that the card took a performance hit once memory over the 3.5 GB limit were put into use. 29, 30, 31. The card's back-end hardware specifications, initially announced as being identical to those of the GeForce GTX 980, differed in the amount of L2 cache, 1.75 MB versus 2 MB in the GeForce GTX 980, and the number of ROPs, 56 versus 64 in the 980. Additionally, it was revealed that the card was designed to access its memory as a 3.5 GB section, plus a 0.5 GB one, access to the latter being seven times slower than the first one. 32. The company then went on to promise a specific driver modification in order to alleviate the performance issues produced by the cutbacks suffered by the card. 33. However, NVIDIA later clarified that the promise had been a miscommunication and there would be no specific driver update for the GTX 970.34, NVIDIA claimed that it would assist customers who wanted refunds in obtaining them.35, on the 26th of February, 2015. NVIDIA CEO Jen Sun Huang went on record in NVIDIA's official blog to apologize for the incident. 36. In February, 2015 a class action lawsuit alleging false advertising was filed against NVIDIA and Gigabyte Technology in the U.S. District Court for Northern California. 37. 38, NVIDIA revealed that it is able to disable individual units, each containing 256 kilobytes of L2 cache and 8 ROPs, without disabling whole memory controllers. 39, this comes at the cost of dividing the memory bus into high speed and low speed segments that cannot be accessed at the same time unless one segment is reading while the other segment is writing because the L2 forward slash ROP unit managing both of the GDDR5 controllers shares the read return channel and the write data bus between the two GDDR5 controllers and itself. 39. This is used in the GeForce GTX 970, which therefore can be described as having 3.5 gigabytes in its high speed segment on a 224-bit bus and 0.5 gigabyte in a low speed segment on a 32-bit bus. 39. On the 27th of July, 2016. Nvidia agreed to a preliminary settlement of the U.S. class action lawsuit. 37. Offering a $30 refund on GTX 970 purchases. The agreed upon refund represents the portion of the cost of the storage and performance capabilities the consumers assumed they were obtaining when they purchased the card. 40. Async Compute Support. GTX Titan X while the Maxwell series was marketed as fully direct X12 compliant. 2. 41. 42. Oxide Games, developer of Ashes of the Singularity, 
uncovered that Maxwell-based cards do not perform well when a sync compute is utilized. 43, 44, 45, 41. It appears that while this core feature is in fact exposed by the driver, 46, NVIDIA partially implemented it through a driver-based shim, coming at a high performance cost. 45. Unlike AMD's competing GCN-based graphics cards which include a full implementation of hardware-based asynchronous compute, 47, 48, NVIDIA planned to rely on the driver to implement a software queue and a software distributor to forward asynchronous tasks to the hardware schedulers, capable of distributing the workload to the correct units. 49. Asynchronous compute on Maxwell therefore requires that both the GAMI and the GPU driver be specifically coded for asynchronous compute on Maxwell in order to enable this capability. 50. The 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark shows no noticeable performance difference between asynchronous compute being enabled or disabled. 50. Asynchronous compute is disabled by the driver for Maxwell. 50. Oxide claims that this led to NVIDIA pressuring them not to include the asynchronous compute feature in their benchmark at all, so that the 900 series would not be to disadvantage against AMD's products which implement asynchronous compute in hardware. 44. Maxwell requires that the GPU be statically partitioned for asynchronous compute to allow tasks to run concurrently. 51. Each partition is assigned to a hardware queue. If any of the queues that are assigned to a partition empty out or are unable to submit work for any reason, for example a task in the queue must be delayed until our hazard is resolved, the partition and all of the resources in that partition reserved for that queue will idle. 51. Asynchronous compute therefore could easily hurt performance on Maxwell if it is not coded to work with Maxwell's static scheduler. 51. Furthermore, graphics tasks saturate NVIDIA GPUs much more easily than they do to AMD's GCN. Based GPUs which are much more heavily weighted towards compute, so NVIDIA GPUs have fewer scheduling holes that could be filled by asynchronous compute than AMD's. 51. For these reasons, the driver forces a Maxwell GPU to place all tasks into one queue and execute each task in serial and give each task the undivided resources of the GPU no matter whether or not each task can saturate the GPU or not. 51. Products. GeForce 900M, 9XXM, series. Some implementations may use different specifications. Model launch codename Fab, NM, Transistors, Million, Dyesize, Millimeter 2, Biz Interface Core Config, B, Clock Speed Fill Rate Basic Core Clock, Megahertz, Boost Core Clock, Megahertz, Memory, Mount Forward Slash S, Pixel, GP Forward Slash S, D, Texture, GT forward slash S, E, size, GeForce 910M, 54, 55, 56, August 18, 2015 GF117, H, 28585116 PCIe 3.0 x 896 16,8775155018003.112.4102 March 15, 2015 GK208 unknown 87384 16, 8575575.139.2200 and 4 GE Force 920M, 57, 58, 59, March 13, 2015 GF117, H, 58511696, colon 16, colon 8775155030.112.4102.4101 GK208 unknown 87384, colon 32, colon 16954954.630.5204 GE Force 920MX, 60, 61. 
March 2016 GM 108 I. 18701482562481718172116868